we are going to show you a flexible installation which we carried out at a leading coal mine in Western Australia. This installation was part of a project to supply and commission 30 bores ranging in depth from 200 to 250 meters. To lift water from this great depth, Grundfos SP series pumps were chosen and motors of up to 125 kilowatts were attached. The flexible hose is attached to the pump using the stainless steel hose clamps. The six screws are tightly secured using an Allen key and then the power cable is strapped to the coupling clamps using a waterproof tape. This will ensure that the cable will not rub against the ball casing. The first lifting clamp is secured to the flexi ball hose. The crew is ready to lift the pump into the ball. The strength of the flexi ball hose enables the pump to be lifted in this easy and simple manner. The pump can therefore be guided into the casing simply and gently. The power cable is kept out of the way at this stage until it is able to be secured to the flexibore from a comfortable and safe working height. In this installation, the crew uses straps to secure the cable to the hose. The pump is lowered and comes to rest inside the casing, firmly suspended from the clamp. The roller is placed into position and safely secured to the ground. The crew is now ready to unroll the flexi ball and the power cable. Note on the right hand side of the vehicle the low level probe cable as well as the motor temperature cable being unwound. The crew is working with 50 meter sections. Therefore, once 50 meters of hose has been unrolled, the second clamp is secured to the truck. The truck is driven forward slowly taking the slack out of the flexible hose. With the hose now lying straight across the ground, the crew can go through the important task of securing the power cable to the hose. At every meter interval, there is a gap under the orange strip. This is the spot where the cable strap is fed through in order to grip the electrical power cable firmly to the hose. E 
each cable strap is tightly fastened to avoid the cable being loose inside the ball. The low level probe is also attached but in this case cable ties are being used. The probe cable continued to be secured to the power cable along its length using cable ties. The cables have been correctly snaked in order to compensate for the low extension that the hose may be subjected to. With the vehicle taking up the tension, the first clamp is released. The truck reverses and the pump is now lowered into the bore under its own weight. The crew monitors the straps and is careful to let the hose go over the roller smoothly. The process is repeated and the first clamp is reattached. This clamp is now holding the pump 50 meters deep inside the ball. Once again another section of hose and cables are unwound and firmly secured. This cycle continues until the full 240 meters of hose has been unrolled. With the top coupling attached to the end of the flexi bore, it is securely fitted to the wellhead plate or bore cap. Once again, the waterproof tape is used to secure the cable to the top coupling. With the flexible securely fastened to the bore cap, the crew continues to use the strength of the hose in order to complete the installation. Note that no other safety cable has been used other than the hose itself. The roller is moved away and the crane on the truck is used to finally lower the ball cap into position. The pump plus 240 meters of flexi bore hose has been successfully installed in less than four hours.